This is your second beginner workout. So all we're going to change for this workout is we're going to include a little bit more arms and we're going to take the tempo up just a notch. Okay, are we all ready? Let's go. We're going to take that foot up and tap and down. Tap and down, add those arms. This is your first cardio move. Remember, you always want to warm up, so hopefully your bodies are all warmed up and you're ready to go. We're just tapping it out here for 30 seconds before we switch sides. Make sure you breathe, get your head in the game, relaxing those bodies and getting ready for a great workout. Up, up, down, down. Just tapping that foot up. Let's go three more. Two and one over the top. Now we're gonna tap it up on the other side. I want your arms to swing with control. Don't be doing this at home, okay? Nice and controlled, posture's up, chin is up, and you're firmly stepping all the way up onto the journey gym and tapping that foot. We're almost done. Here's five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Up on those journey gyms, grab those handles, Push the buttons on the side to deploy the handles all the way up to your waist. We're going to turn those palms up and we're going to do a bicep curl. Knees are soft, arms come up and down, up and down. I always like starting with a bicep curl because for me it's the easiest exercise where you really can just get started, get warmed up and you don't have to think a whole lot, which is kind of nice. So you just exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. And we're going to do these for a minute. That's what this gradual ramping interval training is all about. We're gonna slowly ramp up throughout the workout and through the exercises so that you get the most benefit. A couple things you're thinking about here. Elbow stays nice and tight next to the side. Good posture, nothing else is moving. Bring those arms up and squeeze in that bicep. Okay, we're almost done. Keep going. Couple more. And down. Up and down. Now remember, if you start to get tired, you can always go into that alternating motion using one arm at a time instead of both. Let's do five more. Four, last three, two, and one. Excellent. Bring those handles down. Now we're gonna come back to the front of the journey gym and we're gonna go over the top. So we're just gonna go down to the side and over the top, pumping those arms, just like we did with the tap. Only this time, you're going all the way across the journey gym. Now, the best way to add in that grit system, the gradually ramping interval training, is to be able to take it a little bit wider. So if this is easy for you, take it a little wider. Make it a little bit more intense. If it's really hard for you, bring it closer to the journey gym and keep it nice and tight, just under control. We're halfway done. Find that comfort zone for you where you're challenging your body, but you're staying safe. And breathe. Pumping those arms in control. You got this. Almost done. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Now we're gonna bring down that heart rate a little bit and work the upper body. So let's grab this side handle. You're gonna deploy it all the way up to your waist, standing nice and tall. And we're just gonna bring those elbows up just like you are a puppet. Here we go. Lifting up and down, up and down. Good. Keeping those knees nice and soft. Remember, you never want to lock out your leg. I want to show you here on Janae. Just imagine, if Janae was a puppet, I would be pulling the strings right at her elbows. That's where that motion comes from. The neck is relaxed, posture is perfect. Good job. She's just bringing those arms up and back down. Up and down. And you can stand however your legs are comfortable. If you're comfortable standing with a little bit wider stance, that's okay. If you want those feet together, that's okay too. Just keep the knees nice and soft. Looking good at home. You staying with me? Four more. Three, two, and 
Last one. Great job. Put those handles down. Okay, now we're gonna work the lower body again, which means again, big muscle groups. I want you to feel a little bit of burn, but again, stay in your comfort zone. We're gonna do a squat going from side to side. Are you ladies ready? Okay, here we go. Take it squat, center, other side, center. Squat, center, other side, center. Now let's add those arms in there. You're gonna push them forward, pull in. Push forward, pull in. Forward, pull in. Remember, just like I said in the beginner workout that we've done before, land lightly. I don't wanna hear you stomp as you land. Control the movement as you come down. Nice and tight. You're halfway through, stick with it. Make sure you're stepping wide enough away from that stair that you comfortably sit those hips back into the squat. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Visualize yourself strong, doing something good for yourself. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Now we're gonna work one of my not so favorite muscles, right back here, the tricep. I get so many questions, people wanting to know how they can work this part of their body. We're doing it right now. Grab this handle, you're gonna deploy all the way up to your face, okay? All the way up here. Grab and turn all the way around, bring those elbows in nice and tight, and we're gonna extend the arms up and down. Dropping that chin to the chest, and squeezing those arms all the way straight. Up and down. Up and down. Lift and lower. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Keep going. So you'll see here how Kylie is standing nice and tall. Her body is one line here. And those arms are coming all the way straight. Don't leave any bend in your elbows. I want them totally straight, and I want you getting that mind-muscle connection of straightening that arm and squeezing that tricep. Visualize your arm looking how you want it to look and make it happen, okay? Keep going. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. And now we're gonna do a fun exercise. Of course, we get to sit down. So go ahead and have a seat. And you're gonna place those feet on each side of the journey gym. You're gonna sit up nice and tall, keeping those legs straight. And we're gonna pull straight back and come in. Pull back, come in. Just alternating hands and a slight twist at the top. Up and back, just like you're rowing. Nice and comfortable. And if you need to, you can always do these one arm at a time and give yourself a little bit of support in the back. This is only if your hamstrings are tight or you're just not comfortable sitting in that upright position, okay? So you have two options here. Again, changing this up so that it's your workout. You can do one arm at a time or you can alternate. That easy. Keep going. We're almost done. Here's your exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. It's really important to remember to fuel your body as well. You wanna stay nice and hydrated and get a good meal after each workout. Three more, two and one. Almost done, okay? One foot up on that journey, Jim. Take a big step backwards, okay? We're gonna go down, up onto the journey, Jim, and switch. Up on the journey, Jim, and switch. Switch. You can add the arms in if you want, wherever it's most comfortable for you. Push them forward and back. And trust me, you guys are gonna feel this. I like to finish it off strong. And if this is uncomfortable for you, or if you're wobbling, you don't have to bend that back knee that much. You can bring it in closer to the step, bring those arms up right here. Or, if this is easy for you, 
Just take that foot back a little farther and really extend that knee towards the floor. We're more than halfway done. Let's do 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna go into a high knee march. So you're gonna step up with that right foot and lift the left knee. Here we go. Lift and then lift the other knee. Lift. Just a simple high knee march, really concentrating on bringing those knees up, but in control. Don't swing them up and get all crazy on me. Nice controlled lift with the knee. Keeping that core really tight so that you keep your balance. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. We're going for a minute. Stick with me. Almost there. More than halfway done. Good job. Let's go 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job, you guys. I'm so proud of you. I'll be back again to help you with your next workout.